Hi Libra, thank you for joining me and thank you for sharing your energy with me. Um, Libra, you might need to just slow down a bit. Just slow down a bit, okay? Um, you're trying to get ahead of yourself. Well, no, you're not trying to. You're not meaning to, but you're getting too far ahead of yourself and you're missing things. So slow down just a little bit. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, this is a general read for your Libra placements for the week of 20th through 27th of January. Do hit that like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to play you two cards because I've already done this once. We're going to keep that one, but we're going to pull another one for you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Libra. What's going on with Libra? Libra's overall energy, please. Thank you. Also, we are almost at 4,000 subscribers. I'll be doing a giveaway once we hit 4,000. Three 20-minute videos, readings. And the Libra group is about to start, so watch out for that. It is coming. It is coming. Feeling safe, wisdom keepers and concern, Arcturians, yes, 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 healthy boundaries is a beautiful thing this week. Okay, along with Argothans, manifesting multidimensional perception and attunement. I love this energy for you. This is amazing. You are definitely on point this week, feeling safe, manifesting, multi-dimensional wisdom. You're getting downloads, Libra. You are totally getting downloads. Okay. Ooh, in our sword, in, in, in our heads about something though, huh? Of course, that's okay. All right, we got Nine of Swords, Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, and Justice. Ooh, you're showing up. You are showing up. You are being visited. You're getting a lot of information. You're making decisions. You are making decisions to move forward on something. This may very well have to do with something tangible, money-wise. Um, you're making a decision to make a plan and to move forward. You may already have the plan in motion, but you are figuring out a way on how to create the ending that you want even faster. Don't go too fast, okay? Because you might miss something. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Future focus is going to be very important and not past tripping, okay? Don't try and take everything. There is an Ace of Pentacles heading towards you. You are creating the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Could be... Selling something, stocks that you bought, an investment from the past. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so you might definitely have energies around you that are trying to distract you or, or that are just distracting you. Keep that in mind. They will settle down. Calmness, patience, dealing with them, right? Okay. Okay. So you're manifesting, you're beginning something new because you have a plan. Now you're going to have to, to go one step at a time, future focused here, being analytical and not in your emotions. This thing that you're starting, oh my gosh, Libra, this thing that you are starting, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, you're heading straight for the Ace of Cups. I'm not sure what you are leaving behind, okay? But you are definitely having some, some third eye activation here. You're moving straight into a higher existence. You're moving into a higher vibration. But do pay attention to this, okay? Seven of Swords with the Pentacle, all right? Now, are you going to get challenged monetarily this week? I don't think so. I think that if you do, you're going to be figuring a way out of it. I think that you are figuring out your, your finances, your, your physical existence, um, and that you're moving forward towards an Ace of Cups. This is knowing everything has a season, everything has a reason. There's a time and a place for everything. You're being very analytical about the time and place for things. Don't get 
too caught up in the analytics. Allow your energy to flow as it does out of this cup. All right, allow your intuition to guide you flowing in and out of the water. See those, that fish? They're in and out. Everything in its time and season. There's a time and place for everything. Four of Pentacles. Are you side-eyeing someone who wants something from you? Or are you looking at things in a more strategic manner going, mm, do I really need that? Is that something that I actually need? You're holding your Pentacle in one hand. These are your Pentacles, okay? These are your Pentacles. I think what you're doing is you're looking to invest in something. You have plans for these Pentacles and you're going where's the best place to invest this now this can be your time energy thoughts even your thoughts create right remember that your thoughts create what are you creating because you are definitely definitely seeing something you are seeing something that you want and I think that you're figuring out a better way on how to get it Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Cups. The end is over and done with. You are rising up from the ashes. Yes, you are. You are quickly moving forward into the King of Cups. Whatever disruption emotionally you've been experiencing, you're quickly moving into the King of Cups. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry. Don't allow past situations to dictate your future. Now you have the King of Swords and the King of Cups right on top. So your mind and your heart are coming into alignment. That's, that's how you manifest. Oh, and right here we have, where was it? Manifesting. Right here we have manifesting. Yes. Yes. Holy crap. Okay. When your heart and your mind align, you move mountains that way. That's how the mountain moves. Okay. So your emotions are calming and you're becoming much more level. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry about that. Expect a lot of interruptions, Libra. This is not the first time I tried to do your video. Expect a ton of interruptions this week, okay, love? All right, so your emotions are definitely calm. No matter what's going on around him, he's above it. He is above it. He lets the crazy people be crazy. He's not worried about it. Definitely you are armed, you have knowledge, you're getting knowledge, you are arming yourself with knowledge is what I am getting. Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords. You have no issues with people side-eyeing you this week and they're going to, love, they're going to be prepared for this. It's not you, it's the energy. The energy is insane, okay? But you're getting to a place where you don't really care anymore. Seven of Wands. He's like, yeah, I don't care. Whatever. You got words for me? I don't care about words. Words don't mean anything. I got my stick. I know how to use it. And I could take everyone on if I chose. Let them throw their barbs. They're immature. Very immature barbs may be coming at you. You don't care. You don't care. The world, you don't care. You are definitely accessing a brand new cycle, a brand new way of being. Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom. You have the long term in mind. You're not looking at short term anymore. You're not. No, you're, you're more concerned with where to put your energy, where to put your thoughts, where to put your time, your action, your love, your attention. That's what you're concerned with. Queen of Cups, you are seeing as above, so below. Your cup is filled. She doesn't have a problem with that. She knows who and what is loyal to her, and she is loyal to herself. Hello. That's truth. That is truth. You have to be loyal to yourself before you can expect anyone else to be loyal to you. You are clear. You are seeing clearly. Where's the sun? That's what I want to know. Strength, kindness, gentleness, patient, understanding, loving, non-judgmental. She does not get that chain around that lion without that lion's respect. Okay, at any time that lion could eat her, but she has been so patiently working 
diligently in a gentle energy. This is taming your lower self. You are diligently working on your lower energies, taming them like shopping, right? Um, lust, addictions, seeing clearly that things take time and that that's okay. That's beautiful. I just love this. This, this whole, this whole reading is just beautiful energy. It's like everyone is going crazy around you and you're like, yeah, okay. That's, that's okay. I don't, you can, you can stay over there and go crazy. I'm okay with that. This is a beautiful week for you. Absolutely. You're seeing long-term, multidimensional perspective. Yes, that's exactly it. Multidimensional perspective. Wow. Feeling safe. Yes, you feel safe. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, your card of advice from Spirit for the Week is the Four of cups love this love this so much for you it's amazing okay four of water sorry not cups water okay you see how his face is badly scarred he's looking in the mirror and he's very pleased confidence Awareness, self-acceptance, forgiving, self-belief, deserving, receptive, consequences. You are beautiful. Be aware of your weaknesses, but focus on your strengths. A mistake is nothing but an opportunity to learn. Let go of the ideal of perfection. Love yourself for who you are. Happiness at another's expense? The emotional cost of your actions. Are you doing anything that's going to cost you emotionally? Are you allowing others to enter into your space and do this? Healthy boundaries and good, healthy self-love are the same thing. Okay, guys, you know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Join us during one of the lives. Free questions. Check out your signs. Peace to you. Ciao.